What is going on, everybody? So, in the past, I've done, you know, try to do mail day videos as stuff comes in. I know a lot of other guys do. Um, but I, I just don't have time every night to, to do that. I don't have a lot of time. I've got a lot of things going on. And over the next few months, things are going to get busier with a high school senior stepson that also has events coming up performances, things like that. So I'm going to start doing a, what I call a mail day Monday. It'll probably just be a recap of stuff I've gotten over the last week, or if I miss a week, two weeks, something like that. Um, that's what it's going to be here starting soon. I actually already know what my second, uh, mail day Monday or Monday mail day. I think Monday mail day is what I want to call it. Um, is going to be, uh, it's a package from Korea that I've actually had for a couple of weeks. And I've waited open on camera and just haven't really, you know, had the time to do this. So what you see in front of you there is a whole lot of stuff. And it is a whole lot of mail that has accumulated over the last, I don't know, probably two to three months. I think some of it I've shown before. Uh, so I apologize if you're seeing stuff again and you're rolling your eyes. Um, but it is what it is. And my channel my rules my videos what can i say so anyway what you see right there in front of you is a marhofer lloyd ruby card i actually took a quick look before i started the before i started recording this to see if i could find i think this is a different one i have one from before that i bought a couple of years ago they don't come available very often so these are not your typical card. I don't know, you know, your standard size. I'm not sure. I don't have a ruler right here to even measure it. But I'm thinking it's probably about a 3 by 5 Lloyd Ruby, you see right there from Wichita Falls, Texas, which is a couple hours up the road from me. Um, until Michael Andretti came along, he was considered the best driver at Indianapolis that never won the Indy 500. Uh, one of his nicknames is uh, Hard Luck Lloyd. So there you go. He ran into a lot of bad luck and never won the 500. And he's one of my favorite drivers, and I never saw him drive. I've read a couple of books on him. And I think my other card is in one of the biographies of his. I put it in there. You may have heard me say recently that I'm very unorganized at the moment. And it's another example of why I found one of the books. I don't know where the other one is. Um, because I was gonna, I wanted to compare and see if it was the same card or not, um, but no luck. So anyway, Marhofer was a meat uh, company in Indianapolis, and in the '50s, '60s, into the '70s, and I think maybe even the late to mid to early to mid '80s, uh, had a very strong alliance with the Indianapolis 500. Um, so what these were, these were actually. So for some reference on the size of it, these were actually part of hot dog packages. So as you can kind of see here, and then you got over here, so it was probably, you know, across it this way, and then you got kind of that there. But yeah, it was a local, local slash regional uh, food issue. Um, I'm not Dave Blue Jacket 66, but I do love me some... Uh, do love me some regional issues and food issues and things like that so it's just an oddball item for my Indy 500 slash Lloyd Ruby collection and I can't wait to get it next to the other one and take a quick gander at it see if I, I feel like they're different I feel like the other one I have of him doesn't have the compliments of Marhofer on the bottom so time will tell eventually we'll find it so Let's rock and roll on some of this other stuff. Try and make it quick. What do we got here? We got an Alec Manoa. This is not one of the ones that I'm working on the rainbow of. And you can't, oh, there you go. So you can see it's a cracked ice, numbered out of 23. But for the price I was able to get it for, I was like, eh, I'll go ahead and add it to my Manoa WVU binder. Uh, these right here are a couple cards I bought off of somebody on Twitter. Uh, for my Mavs rainbows. So the Isaiah Roby, who's no longer with the Mavs, silver, and a green prism, Steve Nash. 
So speaking of things for Mavericks Prisms, can't remember who the, I think the, I can't even remember. Oh yeah, I did get these from Wax Museum Podcast. If you like uh, basketball cards, he does have a channel, Wax Museum Podcast. You can also follow him on uh, Twitter at Wax Museum PC, and you can find his podcast anywhere that, uh, you know, your favorite podcast listening place. But more uh, Mavericks Parallels for uh, my rainbows, and I think I just, I think he's, he had just sent these to me. I had sent him some pacers in the past. And he sent these back to me. And I think I needed a couple that I think I've already yanked out. Um, I think those might all be doubles. I, I can't recall 100%. So going back to the, the racing and the open wheel. These, oh, you know what these are? I am not going to show those off because I forgot. I have another video to make. All right. Screw that. So this here, very simple. Bunch of Alec Manoa. It was a 100 card lot of his Bowman. I hate the term, but Bowman paper, Bowman base cards. Um, I got it for a good price. So I just figured I'll throw it in a box. And I'm not again. I'm not into prospecting, but he pitched a WVU, and if he turns out to be a stud of some sort, then maybe I'll have a small fortune. Probably not. So more Manoas I picked up. I think these are. It's like eight or ten of the Chrome refractors eight or nine i should say picked those up off ebay a while back um to complete my one page in my binder i have a one of the uh not ultra pro who's the other bcw the binders that eric those back pages also uses and they actually the sheets have 12 cards per sheet so love those um so a while back i had bought a few uh of the Topps Living Cards off of a seller on Twitter. And a few months later, he messaged me back and said, hey, I was going back through things and realized I overcharged you, so I actually owe you a couple cards or some money back. And I was like, okay, well, let's just work on some cards. I worked on some other things to go along with it. So I got the Yasiel Puig and Zach Plesak for the Indians, I am trying to put the Indians set together. Not a big baseball guy anymore, but uh, still doing that, hoping that, you know, I know Tommy was in there, and maybe some of the 90s guys will eventually go if the set continues going. And then I bought all of his remaining Mike Trout inventory. It was six cards. I went through a little spell over the summer where I bought a few Mike Trout cards, the Heritage PSA graded, so maybe someday down the road, what I was thinking of is maybe try to put a collection of the Trouts. He is the obviously the number one player right now of any of the cards, his cards and the old designs. So archives, living set, just things like that. Just another little project to do. This, uh, if you watch Jeremy IPTTM's channel, he got this. He found a, he had a great estate sale find a few weeks ago. And he had asked me about this, and I need, I did not have a Tony Stewart autograph. And so this will go with my Indianapolis 500 driver project, numbered out of 350 hand numbered. Um, the old days of much thinner Home Depot driving smoke. Pretty excited to add that to my collection. Thanks, Jeremy, and thanks for the great deal on that. Uh, what do I got here? I think this was just a pickup. This was... Uh, somebody oh hey it's tape i never even opened it all right well anyway what this was was uh some minnow and josh john cards that uh somebody had bought a bunch of uh excess somebody had opened bowman draft only and only cared about the hits and he bought the remainder of it for a great price and uh moved those along to me the two guys that i'm working on i can't remember if i showed these so wes uh was a big blogger for a while and he stopped the blogging and he's a little active on Twitter anymore. So these were a couple of his custom cards he sent to me. He uh, had like a Christmas thing where he sent a bunch of cards out to a bunch of people and I was one of the lucky recipients. And I think it was all pretty much WVU based. 
So there's a Pat White. I know those are numbered. Oh, we got a Charles Sims numbered out of 75. Tavon Austin. Ah, yeah, I forgot about this one. Yeah, Adam Pac-Man Jones. Uh, it's a sticker autograph. I'm not a fan of the stickers, but I don't even know that I had a Pac-Man Jones autograph in my collection because I don't think he has any autograph cards where he's shown with WVU. And I typically don't collect the NFL stuff, but I am thrilled to add that to my collection. And we'll uh, definitely put a note on it with my new label maker of where it came from so that I don't in turn sell things that people gifted to me. And these were some more from Wes, and again, I believe following the same theme. WVU, we got a three color jersey autograph swatch of former Mountaineer running back Charles Sims. Got a Kevin White, I believe those are numbered out of 399. Rashid Marshall. Didn't make it the NFL. They try, He tried to play receiver in the NFL. He was a quarterback at West Virginia and was the quarterback when the thing started to turn under Rich Rodriguez, started to turn for the better, and then Pat White took over. And, you know, it was uh, it's all history from there. Kevin White Prism. Is that numbered out of something? It's got to be numbered out of something. 299. One of my favorite, probably my favorite Mountaineer ever, Owen Schmidt. K.J. Harris autograph. I thought there was something in there that wasn't football. But yeah, oh, uh, these are the Topps manufactured relics. Oh, Kevin Nash, NWO. I had a few of those because I 2016 Topps Heritage. I think I had bought some of those. I think those came uh, like one per blaster, which were either obviously at Walmart or Target. Uh, 26, they may have been at Meyer too, but... I wasn't living in India. I was already living in Texas, and we don't have Meyer down here. This one I know I showed off already. So this is a card that has been on, you know, right up at the top of my uh, want list for about three years. A T227 Ralph Mulford. I was shocked at how little I got this for, and if I can continue buying them at the price I got this bad boy for, I will absolutely hoard the hell out of these things. But Mulford, uh, champion, driver, participated in multiple early Indianapolis 500s. Just thrilled to have that in my collection. What else we got here? Uh, these are real old. I think these shouldn't have even been in here, but more WVU. I love the Panini Luminance. So that I want to actually put just a rainbow of the golden blue, the base, the golden blues together. I feel like I've shown that off. I love that autograph. Just, I love the picture. I love the silver ink, just everything about it. It is absolutely a beautiful card to me. Uh, won this by mistake. It's a uh, Guerrero Jr. I was bidding on it and didn't realize it was the, uh, what is it, the pro debut or something. Won it on a Sport Lots auction. So, buddy Danny, who's a local collector and loves the old star basketball sets, out of the kindness of his heart, sent me some uh, star sets from the 80s that, you know, I trust him and I know that if it's in there and it's from him, it's legit. So, on the back of this one is Lenny Wilkins, so I wonder if it's all coaches. Ah, I'd said, I think I th think I had done the video and I said I wasn't sure if I should open them or keep them. And he said that they're pretty low value, so I should open them up. So I will probably be doing that. No Blackhawks autograph collection would be complete without Coach Q. A Coach Q autograph, the best coach in Chicago Blackhawks history. I'm sure that some would argue that. I don't care. You're allowed to be wrong. It's a free country. Don't really. I, I've mentioned that I'm not a big guy on the the NFL products, but I got this thing super cheap, and with the color scheme of the blue background and all of that, just could not pass that. Will Greer up. I'm pretty sure I got that for less than five bucks. 
Uh, what we got here? This is something I got off somebody else. It's just a little, another little group of the Bowman draft stuff of Manoa and or Josh Young. Charles Barkley, Silver Prism. I'm going to put as much of this uh, rainbow as I can together. I'm not going to put a ton of money out, so I'll probably only, you know, I'll get the lower end ones. Uh, this is a local card shop from my Mountaineer autograph collection. He's not in the NBA, and it doesn't look like he's going to make it. But, you know, he was a stud for, I think he was just really that one year at WVU, and then he was hurt all last year and decided to go pro. Well, that worked out well. Stupid decisions. He should have gone back, but what do I know? Uh, more Mavs. Prism. Orange Cracked Ice. Can't even remember where I got part of so many of these things because it's been so long. It's just a shame. I'm the worst. This was also from Jeremy. IPTTM. So you've seen that one before because I did a video on it. Thanks, Jeremy. Love that. Got to get that uh, labeled up and in my binder. I want to put the Blackhawks set together. I admit that these things don't necessarily look as good in hand as I thought they would. But this is an Arctic Freeze, and I love hockey. I love that, like, ice blue, teal, aqua color, you know, color area. And these are kind of that ice blue. But this is a OPG Platinum Arctic Freeze. I want to get the whole Blackhawks team set. They're numbered out of 79. Got this one off Sport Lots for... So this next little uh, handful of cards is how, you know, that just I've not been doing the things with my collection personally that I needed to. I forgot that I had these T36. They were just on the table and I hadn't done anything with them. So I need to go through. I picked these up. I think uh, a couple of them were off of open binders. I think the other ones were eBay purchases or something. I feel like I got them at prices that I didn't pay attention to if I actually needed them. Um, obviously, if you've watched other videos, I have the entire front run. Uh, but I'm working on the master set, which is each front has four different backs. Um, so I need to go through those and see what I actually need and update my set progress on that. Uh, got this cheap. I love, the, I've become a fan of the cracked ice. So a Will Greer out of 25. Since he's in the WVU uniform. All right, let's get let's get wrapping this up. This video is too long. So I've picked up a few of these. These are numbered out of 199. Uh, you've seen the red, white, and blues. I've picked up a couple of those. It looks like another red, white, and blue here. I think I've bought and I've got like three of those now. Uh, let's see an Alec Manoa refractor. Alec Manoa. Red, white, blue prism. Those are numbered out of 99. Honestly, again, I'm just kind of failing. I can't really remember the... Oh, I got this off eBay. It was uh, from a seller that's also my Tobacco Row group. Uh, but got this off eBay. It's actually my first SGC with the, the new label. Um, nice looking card. I'm not sure why it's a 1.5. But... I buy the card, not the grade. It was a good deal. I think I got it for around 20 bucks. So if you tell me that you can't afford to collect vintage, yeah, you can. Because I got this for 20-ish. It might have been as high as 25. Put down a couple blasters. Go buy some cards like this. If you want. If you don't want, that's fine. But don't tell me you can't afford to. Yeah, you can. You may not get a Ty Cobb. I mean, I don't have one. Um, but I've got a Christy Mathewson, a Trish Speaker, and multiple other Hall of Famers. Got some Ginter Hall of Famers. So, you can do it if you want. It's just how you elect to allocate your given funds. The last thing I'm going to show, been kind of failing on this too. I haven't done a lot. I got these out of, so I think Tobacco Row. Uh, the auto driver card you saw just a Minute or a couple minutes ago were T36. This is the T37 set. It's an automobile set. Uh, turkey red. So, obviously, the back on these, one of them. It looks like it's actually excess. So, I think, yeah, I don't think that's paper loss. It's actually paper gain. Um, could actually soak these if I so desired, but I really don't desire to do that. I may try it someday for... 
spits and giggles. Um, check it out, see if it works. But so there, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on any of those cards because otherwise, this would have been a 45 minute video. And that's my dog Stella. She's apparently seeing squirrels or something outside. So anyway, hope everyone has a great day, great Monday, good week. Collect what you like. I don't care whether it's modern or vintage. Just you can't expect everyone else to love what you collect. Collect what you want. It's a hobby. It's supposed to be fun for you. Happy collecting, y'all.